It is the crown of Carsus, the site of power, the site of domination. Looks like that crown could use some nether stones. These things were ever going to work. It's now. position.
make way.
my path be true. Yeah. 
Surrender. Survival is all that matters. All right, Karlak, it's go time. Behold the dance of death. For me, all of them. Got to concentrate. Vidian, you Need to act fast. shift. The brain is weakening. Its grasp of itself slipping. This is your chance. Even bound, its will is stronger than anything you've ever felt. The chains shake, threatening to break at any moment. Will 
is weakening. We have the upper hand. Time to end this! destiny promised by your father. Enslave, dominate, ruin. In your father's name, you must seize your rightful claim to the brain, not destroy it. If you do not, then he will flay and shred your mind, so it cannot even comprehend the horrors he will plague you with.
nightmares and the screams of legions upon legions of unborn illithids. The pain rips through you, obliterating all thought, all feeling. Silence, the overbearing quiet of your father's disappointment before the rush of your tragic fall. Everything you did, everything you sacrificed, it was worth it for this. The Netherbrain is defeated, along with the grand design, praise Mother Gith. My powers, they're draining. Just like Mazora said they would. A small price to pay in the grand scheme of things. Fucking hell, it's over. The Parasite, 
It's Rivet, dead along with the Netherbrain. I am cleansed. I will never be a filthy geich. Only mild offense intended, of course. You did the unthinkable, and I'm grateful for it. I will ensure that all Gith Yankee know your name and your sacrifice. What you have done today will start a fire that rages across the astral plane. With their lost prince returned, my people will burn away Vlakith's corruption. And it is all thanks to you, the Illithid who defied a nether brain. As you wish, my savior. My people are leaving, and I must leave with them. Come, Lazel. We will free the Githyanki and dismantle the Empire. Let them be imprisoned no longer. of my joy. How I long to say yes. But you have chosen a path for yourself, and it does not lead to the astral plane. Then I must go with the prince. I will never be free while my people are still bound by Vlakith's chains. Your will is strong, Rastel. Your name will be etched in our slates. You will be called Mlagir, Liberator. Orpheus, I am ready. Dulas! Dulas! Farewell, Jestil, my liberator. With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city, smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. You are a mind flayer, the very thing you sought to eradicate. Whatever self you possess is quickly ebbing away. Your friends and enemies alike are ripe for manipulation. And if not manipulation, then consumption. Soon you will not be able to trust yourself at all. You will be a monstrosity beyond redemption, or not. Perhaps you are unique among a lithid kind. Perhaps you will retain enough of who you are to resist your nature. A rogue mind flayer. Like the Emperor, the risk is certainly yours to take. Will you?
You have thwarted the illithid grand design. You have defeated three chosen and a nether brain. You are miraculous. And you have earned the right to live. Your fate will be what you make of it. Now you are your own master. But it seems that Gale's mind is elsewhere. The crown. It's somewhere in the Giontha. If I salvage the stones, I can reforge it. The power of Carsus would be in my hands. But what then? What would I do with it once I have it? Sage and timely counsel, as always. And I intend to heed it. A wise man learns from his mistakes and strives not to repeat them. I shall bring the crown to Mistra. She'll cure me of my affliction. And I'll finally be free. And a more deserving one this time around. If this adventure has taught me anything, is that there are things in this world far more valuable than power. Besides, I'm growing quite fond of this merry band of ours, and I'd quite like to see what happens to it. I'm sure Mistra will summon me soon enough, but until then, I propose we celebrate our victory the mortal way, with a drink in our hands and reckless abandon in our hearts. I'm not sure about, um, <laughs> drink in hand, but I think we've all earned some reckless abandon. How about you? Any thoughts on what's next? It seems you found peace with yourself. I'm glad. Just as long as your intentions remain as pure as they are now. I honestly don't mind what we do once we get to the... Ow! What the... Oh, no. Oh, God. Well, it was... It was nice when it lasted. Ah! I, I'm sorry. I, I have to go. Astarian will keep to the dark now, I wager. At least, he'll find plenty to feast on. Your thoughts wander from your companions and everything you endured to your own piteous fate. If only you defied your father when you had the chance and freed yourself of your dark desires. But it's too late now. Your destiny is set. Your very blood shall clot with the urge. And that hungry desire will consume you. You may have freed the world from the control of the nether brain, but you are not yet free. Your father is angry. What foul punishment awaits you now that you have rejected him? And just like that, it's over. Whatever's left of you is subsumed by the overwhelming strength of your desires. Blood, 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 blood. We did it, soldier. 
the city's going to be all right. And so are you. Uh, engine's finally cooked. <laughs> Held on just long enough. It's over, and it's all because of you. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire, no death god's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. You are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. of the world restored, the balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. To you. Diseased embrace, siring a mad legion. You scream, for you cannot speak. Yet, in the treacle pulp of your brain, something called you back. Here. What? 
What is this place? It was something once. Bonds, warmth, strength, fear, love. Now you feel only impatience for these blood sacks to sleep, so you can strike with the death dream. Each day you sing his hymns, each night you dream in red. Not long now, not long. Wait until they are at rest to strike. Patience. You have cultivated these crusted companions, wrenching, ripping, scraping. But you do have a favorite. Scratch, 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 scratch. One day you will excavate all the way down to your thrumming heart. The revelry is falling to a lull. Your witching hour draws close. The pity gags in your gullet. Yes, they will die. Just for you. Faces gods, thy actions barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flayers. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. The supplication of Bane, the whimper of Baal, the death mule of Merkel, felled by mortals. I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin, away. Thou wilt trouble us no more. 